what's up good people hope you're doing great welcome back to source p tv guys this year has been one of the toughest and roughest years for kenyan artists their art was questioned criticized and analyzed in 2022 than ever before this is despite the fact that during the first two years of the covid 19 pandemic kenyan artists were unable to perform to due to restrictions placed on events and entertainment joints but there were still some musical games that showed up this year. Numerous albums were released, hit singles came out from the unlike, unlikeliest of the quarters. It's been a pretty decent year for the Kenyan music. Before we usher to three, we take a look back at a few at a few notable songs from 2022 that kept us moving through politics and through terrible economy. Number one. The first song we had, Request Fit Brandy Maina, Furthermore Savara, and the exit band Kuna Kuna, released in October and climbed the charts so fast it bangs so hard that somebody in the YouTube comments section joked about playing it six times before the neighbor called the police. I'll be honest though, the tune and the choreography were great, but Brandy Maina's verse made this song a banger that it is. Maybe let's get to listen to it. Number two, Prince Inda Hera Wanini. Prince Inda has consistently flown the new Benga music genre flag over the years. Ever since he, he so politely took it from his uncle and mentor Emma Jalamu, Hera Wani, in translation, this love of ours released in November, trended at number one on YouTube music in the country for close to three weeks, which no other rock banger musician has ever achieved. At number three, Inauma by Bien Baraza. Sauti Soul's Bien Baraza is one of the greatest Kenyan musicians to overdo it. There's no more I can say about this song other than it was also one of the only two local songs in Apple Music, September top of 100 songs most Kenyans were listening to. Harry Richie's Vida falls on number four because it's safe to say that Vida has joined a very limited list to native lawyer songs that have shot at national prom prominence alongside the likes of Joseph Shisia's all-time greatest hit Omundu Omulosi. Hey, our lawyer friends, maybe tell us in the comment section what's the translation of that. Vijana Barubaru fit Ashley Music Sasahili at number five. This song, well, this song first gained public attention when Ashley performed its acoustic version on TikTok and Kenyans fell in love with both her voice and words. I can't lie, me too, Maze. What followed was a bar barrage of requests from Kenyans, new, from Kenyan music lovers asking for the full, the full song. And it came and they nailed it, you know, they nailed it. At number six, we have Wakadinali MC MCA. For ground, nobody ever really understands what Wakadinali is talking about in their music. But if you tend to listen closely, you'll find lessons about such social issues like crime, drug abuse and police brutality. They have released many songs this year as well and each slaps different man. But the one I find appealing is MC MCA. They talk about USA, USB and Charger Type C and ADHD and a lot of other and a lot of other acronyms that somehow make sense when play when pieced together. What do you say about that? Let me know in the comment section guys. At number seven, we have Otile Brown Woman. For some strange reasons, Kenyans are yet to give Otile Brown his flowers. But man, this is the biggest artist in the country at the moment. He was also the very first Kenyan artist to surpass the very elusive one million subscriber mark on his YouTube channel. No scandals of late, just making music and minding his own business. Y'all artists should, Mazay, should, should look up to Otile Brown. Calligraph Jones, Bona, Bona. Can there really be a list without the OG? Calligraph Jones was in 2018 crowned the best rapper in Africa at the Afrima Awards. And this year, 
he has stayed tease to that course but if we were to pick just one project of just one project for this list the Mbona carries the day and in which he played around so much and made it danceable big up big up man at number nine matata fit sauti soul oversized t-shirt sauti soul has had a relatively quiet year because they kind of took a small pause where everyone was working on their solo projects matata on the other hand has been very busy with an album and tours across europe a collab between these two huge groups is something kenyan music lovers had waited for such a long long time and they did not disappoint so oversized t-shirt the album will be launching today you can't afford to miss it you know it's need hook up last but not least guys at number 10 bonam kunaji will paul toto will paul if he ever stops being a brash human being and just generally an attention seeker will paul has the potential to enter the Kenyan Music Hall of Fame. This was proven when he opened the year with the most beautiful songs he has ever recorded since the, since the days of Sitolia and Lala Salama. The Willie Paul that wrote and sang Toto is the Willie Paul Kenyan music deserves. So guys, that was about today. The list was long, I think it was 22 actually. So, Let's meet on the next one to cover the rest of the 12. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, guys, and kindly share all of your parents here. And let's meet on the next one.